All right, in this video today, we're gonna to be going over 15 different daily habits that you can start implementing in order to improve your life and the lives of those around you. Make sure you stick it out all the way to the end because number 15 is the most important by far. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Approximately over 90% of the people that watch my videos currently are not subscribed. So the only way that I'm gonna grow is if people like you watching right now will just hit that button down below to help me out. Without further ado, let's roll right into it. Number one on the list is going to be waking up early, all right? This is something that I have started implementing. You know, sometimes I try and get up at like 4 a.m. to do things like prospect for my sales job, you know, other types of things earlier on in the morning. People are not hitting you up. They're not blowing up your phone earlier in the morning. So you got all the time to think just you and yourself. The days that I get up at 4 a.m., I have at least four hours to either go to the gym, do sales things, other sorts of things that most people don't have time for if they choose to, you know, if they elect to wake up earlier on in the day. Number two, and this is going to be an incredibly important one, is to eat healthy foods. I see a lot of people all the time, they're eating their junk food, they're filling their bodies with crap, and by default, they're going to be feeling like crap after that. A lot of people, you know, they will uh, suggest to you to just slowly start eating good food. I don't believe in any of that. I think you're fully in control of what you buy at the food store. Next time you go to the food store, just cut out junk completely. Go on Reddit, go on Google, different kind of lists where you can just see good, healthy food items to get on the groceries and buy them. Cut out junk food. So the next one's gonna be uh, surround yourself with like-minded people. This is easily one of the most important ones that I'm seeing now as I'm entering you know, my early adult life. People that are similar to you, like-minded of the same goals in you, you're gonna be able to create friendships much more than those with those that you know don't have those same goals as you. Number four is going to be read a book at least once every single month. You need to be reading something. I read one at least every week. You know, I can get, you know, an Audible subscription. I drive a lot for work, so I'm going to be on the road a lot, so I use, have to use Audible. I try and get one done once every week, but I would recommend to you to get one done once every month because you need to be learning new information, things that you didn't know yesterday to propel you to tomorrow. Number five is going to be limiting yourself with bars and clubs. I know they're fun. I know you're going out. I know you can meet people, but these things are hella expensive. A lot of times you don't meet someone else. A lot of times you're just going there. You're spending drinks on people. And it doesn't even, you know, amount to anything. It's not like, it, you know, really the people that, you know, find their life partners in bars and clubs and whatnot, I feel as though nowadays is few and far between. Um, so you're just wasting a lot of time, a lot of energy into these kind of things, and it's very, very expensive to do. And it's not healthy. I mean, if you're consuming alcohol all the time on it, you know, you're going to start gaining weight. You're going to start having effects, you know, have the potential to drink and drive, those kind of things. So just limit that. It's going to be helping you in the long run. Number six is going to be downloading LinkedIn and trying to connect to at least five to 10 people a day, all right? Because networking is going to be huge in your adult life. So just go through on LinkedIn. They do have people that have similar, you know, results, similar careers as you. They have that on there. Just click the connect button, try and connect with as many people as possible. You'll never know who the next person who, you know, might need a job filled will be. Number seven is going to be developing a good and strong budget and not differentiating from it. So develop your budget. There is apps like Mint Mobile, some of the other ones that you can use that are really, really good for doing that. Um, go on that, set up a budget. And then if you get a raise, a big thing here is to just keep your budget how it was before, regardless of if you're making more money or not. This is going to help you out in the long term and will help you out with, uh, you know, not falling into trap of lifestyle creep, which lifestyle creep is when, you know, you get a raise and then you also boost up your lifestyle because of that raise. So each day, what you want to do is you want to think five years down the line, think of your future self and think about, you know, what you want that to be and what you have to do today in order to get yourself there tomorrow. Okay. Number nine is going to be figuring out what you want in a partner. You know, the older I get, the more I'm realizing now that like finding the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with is incredibly important, you know, so if they're not, you know, the love of your life or if they're not, you know, what you want to be down the line and married to, you need to realize your criteria for that. You need to realize what's going to help you out and make, you know, successful marriage down the line. So think about that as well. Think about what you want in a partner and then don't settle for anything less. So I also want you to moderate the amount of time that you're spending in video games, any other kind of activity that is sort of, you know, mindless and monotonous i know that you know playing them sometimes will you know be a good stress reliever but some people are cranking out like three to five hours a day on these things think about it if you spent that three to five hours a day doing something productive given the same amount of time that you spent playing video games like same longevity month to month wise 
you can achieve something significant. So cut it out, moderate it. Definitely don't, you know, spend more than five hours, more than three hours on it a day. So I try to limit it to one or none. Um, you know, I've cut mine out significantly and it's helped me tremendously. All right, number 11 is going to bed at the same time every day, even on weekends. This helps me out a bunch. I do work weekends all the time, you know, not because I have to, but because I like to. I like to, you know, get my sales job stuff started off on the good foot for the week. So I, I know my competitors aren't working weekends. So that's why I'm trying to do the most to do that. So by going to bed, earlier at the same time and waking up at the same time, regardless of if it's a weekend or not, you're gonna be setting yourself up in a good spot to stay consistent during the week. Number 12 is gonna be getting into personal finance books. This is something that really isn't taught K through 12, um, but I do think it is one of the most important things that you need to have a grasp on in adult life. So start reading, you know, Googling different finance books and whatnot, personal finance books, start at the beginning, and then just slowly work your way up to realize how you can improve your personal finance life. And number 13, this kind of goes along the lines with the finance books, but start realizing, you know, start looking into the economy as a whole and realizing why things are going up and down, why the stock market's going up and down, you know, sort of, you know, how business works, how money moves, that's gonna help you a lot in your adult life because you're gonna be able to get better with, you know, realizing trends, realizing other kind of market support analytics, and it's all gonna compound over time. Number 14 is going to be talk to a new person every single day. And this is a very, very important one for me. You know, hey, I mean, if you're in line for coffee, start chatting someone up, get to know them. I don't know, make a slight conversation. People do like that. You know, they like to be complimented. And, you know, I've never really agreed with the term don't talk to strangers because, you know, especially for my job now, like a sales job, I talk to people all the time. It's a very rewarding process just being able to, you know, befriend other people, meet people that you wouldn't have known prior. It's a good experience and it expands your network. Number 15 and the last one is going to be the most important one and that is going to be subscribe to the channel down below. Oh, it's on the other side. Click that little click me symbol down below there at the bottom and you're going to be getting more content like this. I'm going to be pumping out at least two videos for the rest of the week, for the rest of the weeks coming up. So with that being said, have a good one. Look at this video up top here. Peace.